Well, folks, remember last week when I did March Madness 06? Good news, I'm back again. And it's around at 32. This time, Arkansas is playing Texas Tech, even though I don't think Texas Tech advanced. Arkansas, of course, oh, lousy, wild computer. Made it to the 08 8. They lost to the Bears, which kind of surprised me. What doesn't surprise me is that they're really good. Now, they, I don't know if you watched it, but when I did Arkansas Colgate, Arkansas really beat the tar out of Colgate. So that gives me something. But we're going up against Texas Tech. This was back when Bobby Knight was the head coach of Texas Tech. I think a lot of people do forget that. And kind of like how a lot of people might forget that Tom Brady will, or played for Tampa or probably not get to the fact that he got a Super Bowl out of that. Pass it or shoot it. That's not three, but I'll take it. Colin Sexton has 23.9 points per game for the Cleveland Cavaliers. How about that? Seven points from number 15. Just sizzling hot out here today. Senior leader. Rebounds per game. Jared Allen has 9.9 .9 rebounds per game because I really love Jared Allen. Good fancy basketball player. Just like Luka Doncic, who was so good last night in their road victory against Boston. And speaking of Boston, can someone... I'd, I'd love to know where on earth has... The Celtics spend this year. Uh, come on. Can't really see that well, you know, far back. I don't know if it's bad eyesight or I play way closer to TV. Typically, don't five second it. It says per game, Darius Garland, 5.7. What? That's what? <laughs> Nine six, Razorbacks. Pull it in the lead. Steals per game. That is Larry. That's right, Larry Nance Jr. 1.8. Oh! Points per game. Now number 15 has 9 points. He scored everything but 2 today. Number 15 has just been the go-to guy for this Arkansas team. We'll see if the Red Raiders can respond. Kick out. Of course, here they go driving. And that's going to be... Forcing to a tough shot. Another force to a tough shot. Let's go. I'm wearing number 15 out, am I? Three-pointer. Yes! Kid has 12. Turnovers per game. Ah, oh, shoot. Darius Garland has three turnovers per game. That is not good. Anyways, for the games, Cavs beat the Bulls. Oh, yeah. Stolen. Foul. Set in the line. Ah, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Sorry, trying to get a little closer. How do I miss both? Doesn't matter because it's going to be a dunk. I don't know if you can see me there. Yeah, Cavs playing the Bulls. Cavs 1, DG 22, Jarrett 19 points, Larry 14 points and 14 rebounds. Zach Lafine 22, Ori Markkanen. 17 for those Chicago Bulls. It was just a good win for us, admittingly. Trying to see something else. We were waiting for most of the game, and we out-rebounded them by one. Oh, man, you can't do that. Number 15 with this first foul. He's just been fantastic. Grand total of 12 points. He's got a dozen. It's already looking like a crazy game, and that is a crazy shot. But a foul. Up next, or, or was the game Cleveland Cavaliers and the Los Angeles Lakers going up against former Cavalier legend LeBron. Of course, LeBron, as we all know, is a fantastic player and fantastic guy. Get it out! Oh, 54! What a phenomenal slam! Sorry about this. Oh, regrets. Doesn't even have it. I'm sorry that I'm not really looking. It's just that, you know, I have to. Oh, yeah. Uh, do what do you call it? Do my show, which is very important. This is something on the side. Up by two touchdowns there are the Razorbacks. That's funny. I didn't think the Razorbacks were that good at uh, football either. We'll see what they do here. That two-pointer. That is good. Nice shot there, but... Man, oh man, just been a nice game. Oh, number 10 can dunk and shoot threes. Who would have thunk it? 15's leading everybody with 12 points today. His production has kind of slowed down a little bit, but hey, considering the fact that we've scored a lot ever since, go show you something. I really wish Akron Dame was in it, but 
Tragically, no. Because neither of them made it. Which is kind of ridiculous because the Big Ten, as we all know, did horrible in the tourney. Oh, he got back. And he's going to foul. And by God, or God help me if I mess. Sorry about this. Trying to get closer. First shot's good. Second so shot is good. Alrighty. So let's look. Uh, trying to find out Friday when the Cavs lost to the Lakers on oh, pain indeed. It was at the Staples Center. That was easy. Oh no. That is good. I love how he can control it. Number three. Tries a three ball. Hey, oh! Football score 28 13. Gotta love how well this Razorback school is doing. Alright, so for the Cavs, they lost. Larry led us with what in the good name of golly was he doing there? Driving kicks that one out. Anyways, Larry had 17 points. 14 points for Darius. He might have a five-second call. Nope. They still haven't done a doggone thing out here. Up oh, until then. Darius, 13 points, 11 rebounds. By the way, Larry had 10 rebounds because Larry Nance is like, or Larry Nance Jr. is like very good at basketball. He played at Revere. Probably the Jimmy Buckets of his time. Of course, he is a senior. He's graduated. His Career's over, a thousand career points for him. One of the most recognizable names in all of Northeast Ohio. So does that mean that Jimmy Samo's gonna be the next Larry Nance Jr.? Who knows? And then I could say, hey, I commentated uh, the actual NBA player before he was in the NBA. Oh well. Um. 30 to 15. 15 30. Feels like it's a tennis match. Oh, rejected out of nowhere. <laughs> Anyways, LeBron is, of course, hurt. But that, uh, same with Anthony Davis. But, of course, Dan Schroeder, 17. Uh, Markeith Morris, 13 points. Oh, he lost it. I love number 15. Spinny. Drive. Hey, not a dunk, but you'll take it every day of the week. Halfway through the first half, and it looks like this Razorback team up by a point. KCP had seven points. There's a missed shot underneath the bucket. I don't know why you don't go for the three out there, or two-pointer. Oh, well. And meanwhile, they're not poking this basketball away up until then. Five goes out, 15. Three, yes! 20 point game, finally we can talk. More Cavaliers, how the Cavaliers fell to the Lakers. And now we were winning by 10 at one point. We were winning at the half and then it all fell apart. Ah, oh, come on Cleveland. And then the next night was a game to the Sacramento Kings. And we lost again to the Sacramento Kings at the Golden One Center by two measly points. I'll tell you one thing, the Kings have just been one struggle after another in their history, I haven't won since people were watching Dumont back in 1951. Um, back when they were Cincinnati Royals, I think. If not, they were Rochester, I forget. They were both, and they were the Royals and not the Kings. They were in Oklahoma, or no, not Oklahoma, Omaha and Kansas City, both actually. Kind of weird. And then in 85, they go to Sacramento, where they have been ever since. Kicking it out. Oh, man, he can't do that. Anyways, for the Cavaliers, holy cow, we only had eight men that night. Colin Sexton, 26 points. 18 for DG. Larry, 17 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists. Not shabby. That ball going to be poked away. That's going to be a slam. Two-handed slammer. De'Aaron Fox, 36 points. Kings had five players score double digits. Somehow not stepping out of bounds. And he forgot some special... And don't go for the three. Just take the assured two. That's 21 points. Some Syracuse guy in our tournament 
put up 63 when my little brother was doing it, which of course is a record. Mr. Cavalier himself, AC Austin Carr, put up 61 against Ohio for the Fighting Irish. Go Irish! As that shot's no good. Ah oh, man, Harrison Barnes, 16 points. Um, there's a pass, kicks it out here. So you're very close to Easter. Happy Easter, my good friends, if you celebrate Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, happy spring. I can respect you nonetheless because that's exactly what we need to do these days. Look at 15. Don't look at 15. Pretend that never happened. That's ridiculous. Anyway, for the Cavs, losing to the Kings was quite frustrating. Oh, he's spinning. Oh, no. Look out. Oh, it's rejected. He's feeling the heat. And he forgot some. Number 10. 10. Fouled. He's going back to free throw. Whoa, whoa, whoopsies line. Oh, man. What happened? I messed. Doggone it. Always happens whenever I'm, you know, too far back. Should be 41-17, of course. I say 41 despite two missed free throws because we got a dunk later on from it. Oh, man, got something. Anyways, uh, a computer. 40. So rejected! I love saying rejected when commentating. Oh, man, you didn't steal that. But you did steal that one. Oh, we got it! Anyways, it was back and forth. In fact, the Cavs were waiting for the fourth and final quarter, and then we lost because, of course, oh, man, that, that that's painful to say something. Oh, man, I just realized that you can't really see the top of it. Texas Tech is apparently number 10, but I just love this Razorback team. They say, we'll pick silly, whatever that means. I don't know. I'm not an Arkansas fan because why should I be? Arkansas isn't really that. Much. I think Arkansas went on 94. Yeah. They won it all in 94. And here we go. Looking kicks that one. Look out. He's got an open shot. Oh, tough one. And that is an air ball. Yeah, tough loss for the Cavs. And then Monday, the most recent game, Cavs against the Jazz. It was a massacre. I mean, I know you're playing the best team in basketball, the Utah Jazz. They're good at offense. They have one of the best defensive players in the entire league. You can't foul him, dude. One well, more, this guy's out. He can't. But he could do some more like that. Three ball. No. I was about to say yes. <laughs> okay, be a little precautious. Oh, man. Trying to... Control him and there's a foul. Luckily it was not on him unless if I didn't see anything. Kevs got massacred out at Utah. And you can't well that happened. 114 to 75. There's a foul. No bucket again to the line. Cowan didn't have 20. And Darius did have 18. Oh my god, it was frustrating. Donovan Mitchell, 19, 18 for Rudy Gobert, Mike Connolly. Mike Connolly's a good fancy basketball player. Rudy, 17 rebounds. And just looking at them, not too many guys lighting up the scoreboard out there. It was mainly a team effort. Just like this game out here. Now, though number 21 is leading the backs in points, it's really been everybody and not just him. 47-18, 47-20. Man, it's just ugly. I feel bad if you're a Texas Tech fan watching. I, I didn't mean to do this. Oh, man, that doesn't go in. But that's going to make a difference by now. Oh, you can't. Come on. And just a fantastic job there by Utah. Holy cow. They were up by 41 at their peak. We were never winning. It was a lost cause. I hate lost causes. But that game was a lost cause as the Cavs just got the tar beaten out of them. They had no business in that game at all. Embarrassing to say the least. But anyways, folks, you know what today is? As there's a strip. Oh, he couldn't go out. Anyways, you know what today is? Not just April Fool's Day. Not just Holy Thursday. It's also 
Opening day in baseball. Thank God. It's not going to be a what do you call. I would have done MVP baseball, but I still have this tournament to finish up. And by gosh, we are going to finish up this tournament. Three-pointer off target. And we had two guys there, and none of them could have done a thing. Except for that, it's... Oh, no. Anyways, here's what I think it's going to be. In the American League East, I'm thinking New York's going to win it. And that is a dunkaroo. Make sure I said it. That's a two-handed slammer. How about that? A lot of good shooting out there, but you just look at Texas Tech. They haven't attempted too many shots, and that's why they're losing. Hot dog. In the AL Central, Shy Sides. That's right, Chicago White Sox are going to win it. In the American League West, I have Oakland. Oh, rejected. That's good. Of course, I always switch teams in the second half to make it fair. That's always what I like to do. Ah! And the wild cards, I'm thinking the Twins and Blue Jays. I don't know why I'm thinking Minnesota and them. Oh, rejected! That is not rejected. I don't know why I'm thinking up the alley of Twins, Blue Jays. Well, I need to call time out. These are my scraps. In the National League East, Braves should win. Cardinals would, or will win the Central. And the West is going to go to the Dodgers. Holy shmoly. That, that's bad. No, 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 no. Okay, first of all, who the heck is my center? That, that guy. And then the point guard, I'll put him right there. Okay, 64. That's not good. We'll just say that's good. Oh boy, this isn't going to be fun. And the National League West, I'm pretty sure we all know that the Dodgers should sweep the floor with them. Rejected. Looks like the backs are going to run away with this one. Not even my T.O. could do a darn thing. Gonna dodge a five second call. This is that. Look out. Come on. Nothing. Of course, March Madness 06. I, we do have March Madness 03 and March Madness 02. 02 is not good. I'll tell you that. And there's one reason why. You cannot create a dynasty in that game. Which is very frustrating. Anyways, National League Wild Cards are gonna be the Padres and the Brewers. That's right. I don't have the Mets because the Mets always find a way at the end of the day to louse things up. They do it every year. I mean, five points bids knows exactly what I'm talking about. One day I need to get some. I need to get him on my show one day. That that'd be fantastic. I get five points bids in the urinating tree here. That that would be, I would be officially the greatest WCTV person of all time. Just kidding, I'm not. Oh, but yeah. Padres and Brewers, cause the Mets always find a way to mess things up. Beat the Mets. Beat the Mets. Of course, Five Points Vids is a Mets fan. Very funny YouTuber if you've ever heard him before. Anyways, um, in the American League wild cards, I'm thinking as that one is good. Hot dog, they're, they're not messing. I'm thinking that the Blue Jays should beat the Twins because the Twins haven't won since 2004. Johan Santana was on the mound. That was the year he won Cy Young. Of course, Yon was, of course, a mat. He th he's thrown the low no-hitter, even though Carlos Beltran did hit a fair ball down the left field line that the umpire did call foul. It should have been a one-hitter out, please. Oh, my God. I didn't realize we had three points here. That was one of the worst shots you could have ever taken. That was from different area code. Slam Diego should beat the Brewers. I don't know why I'm thinking that. And then in the American League uh, Divisional Series. I'm sorry about this. Trying to do games. Passing that. Number three in the heat. Kicks that out. Oh, no. What am I thinking? Why does he go back there for a three to begin with? This Red Raiders team just getting everything pounded out here. My God. Th that's embarrassing. Sorry for the whole stutter. But my goodness. He misses that. He won't miss. Uh, six or second chance shots. Why did I say six? Get it! Yes! Yes! 
It's 10 points. It's a lost cause, as mentioned. But yeah, in the American League Divisional Series, let's think. New York should beat Toronto. Chicago will beat Oakland in the ALCS. The White Sox will take down the Yankees because at the end of the day, the New York Yankees typically lately have been finding ways not to get things going well. They always, like the Mets, have been lousing up lately. Like what Karen said to Plankton after he um, tried to get to SpongeBob's body to steal the formula. Oh! And then became and then got inside Patrick's body. I knew you'd louse this up. Louse what up? Cause he was Patrick now. Funny episode. Really funny. He tries to go inside. What is that episode called again? The inside job. That's what it is. Very similar to his sister episode. Someone's in the kitchen with Sandy. Another funny episode. At least that's me. You know, it's kind of a rip off of Imitation Krabs, but still funny. Anyways, National League. Of course, San Diego beating Milwaukee. And then the Dodgers will beat the Padres. And my little brother has a sign that says, Lindor signed $341 million with the Mets because we can't have anything good in life. Kind of like how Marcus Aldridge has signed with the Nets and Andre Drummond now is with the Lake Show. Because Cavs fans and fans of all other 28 teams can't have anything good in life during this mass snowstorm because... Yeah, three-pointer off. I hate when it snows, but it typically snows on opening day here in Ohio. That's always what it is, but it's going to be at Comerica Park. We typically have the numbers. Anyways, the Dodgers, oh my lord, what was that? Dodgers will beat Slam Diego, and I'm thinking the Cardinals are going to beat the Braves, and then the Dodgers beat the Cardinals, and then in a World Series rematch in 1959, Dodgers will beat the White Sox. And once again, my old brother has more things about Lindor's 10-year deal. I don't know if that's it. He just says, he's just writing down stuff as it is snowing like heck. Thank you so much. My old brother is the best. And 44 are need the bucket. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Anyways, Cleveland Indians should go 89 and 73 in my opinion. But I don't think it'll be enough for the postseason. I don't know. I'm just thinking that way. As, well, as much as I'd love to see the Indians do well, I don't think so. 10,000 fans will be at Progressive Field, which is typically what it is. Oh, no. That was horrible. And anyways, my MVPs are going to be some juniors. Fernando Jr. and Vladdy Jr. A.L. Cy Young, it's going to be Gio. That's right, Lucas Gio. Wait up. Next week, Cy Young, Trevor Bauer again. I mean, the Dodgers have no flaws at all. No flaws whatsoever. They're just unbelievable. Hey, oh, manager of the year, that's going to tell you Larissa, who's going to come back from retirement and take this team, this high potential White Sox team, to their first World Series since 2005 when they beat the Astros back before they stole signs. And then, Jace Tingor of the Padres is going to win. I know Cy Young. So ironic. Petco Park used to be a pitcher's park. But, of course, these days, you'll look at this San Diego lineup and everyone scares you out there. Of course, American League All-Star Game. That's going to be in, or not American League, but in the All-Star Game, it's going to be in Atlanta. Of course, we don't know due to um, controversies surrounding Stuff. I'm not going to go into the description of that because I'm pretty sure nobody wants to hear that. Oh, man, he missed. But, yeah, they might move the All-Star game. But if they move it, they might as well move it to Cleveland where Jose Ramirez and Shane Bieber will represent this great team. As that's a goaltending call. Well, it's the MLB season in a few hours from now. Of course, hopefully it's uh, go time by the time... You're watching this, and folks, by now, I'm pretty sure we know that sports can and sports will survive without COVID, or with COVID. And please, for the love of God, get vaccinated right now, Wadsworth, because I'm getting vaccinated on April 16th. I know, it's so exciting. Like, right now, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to get the coronavirus vaccine. That's one of the most exciting things of all time, and it is. 
By the way, subscribe to Highland Horn Sports Network and follow us on Twitter at Sports Hornets. And we're done for the day. 25 minutes of sports because why the heck not? 25 minutes of sports is better than zero minutes of sports. Tell me again. Time running here. Goodbye.